Now, we also want to recognize that the hurt spouse who has been betrayed, right, the, the betrayed spouse, oftentimes in the initial discovery phase, it's the most volatile phase of all the phases. And oftentimes in their hurt and in their pain, they project their hurt back onto the unfaithful spouse. And so as a result, the question becomes, well, which side would you rather be on? Many articles have been written mm -hmm. about this. Would you rather be the one who cheated or the one who was cheated on? Because the aftermath of the affair Ugh. can be so yeah. horrendous. And so oftentimes the unfaithful spouse will publicly humiliate their spouse. So, so in essence, the unfaithful spouse experiences public humiliation or private and antagonization. So let's unpack this. So I'm gonna let the world know. So I'm going to social media and I'm blasting you out and I'm exposing you before the entire world for who you really are. I'm calling your family, I'm calling your friends. I'm gonna, I've seen people who have literally taken out billboards and exposed their spouse to the entire world. And so this private matter has spilled into the public arena and it has had a tremendous amount of impact on one's personal life, their career, their reputation, their standing in the community, all types of things because of the knee jerk reaction to publicly expose. So you hurt me, you know mm -hmm. what, I'm hurting you. You killed my cat, I'm killing your dog, I'm tearing your house down, I'm burning, I'm setting everything ablaze. And oftentimes they suffer that. And that's what's done in public, but then in private, you know, the verbal onslaught on oftentimes they are verbally beat up and beat down and go through so much and a lot of them sit there and take it mm. uh, because they're like you know what I caused this and so the, the question becomes what is there ever an end like is there ever any way that that spouse can pay for what they've done so how many more insults how many more verbal attacks we've seen people who literally have been beaten and punched and kicked and I mean physical violence wrestled down to the ground and just, I mean, treat it like a rag doll. These are the things that happen in relationships. Couples come to us all the time. But when it comes to this type of physical abuse, guess what? It's not reported. It's not reported. Typically, it's the unfaithful spouse who's the wife, because typically the man is not going to beat down on the woman mm -hmm. if the shoe is on the other foot. But women literally are going in and physically causing harm to their, their spouses and their spouse don't report it because they don't want to expose uh, the situation. They don't want to get their spouse in trouble or have them put in jail. And so they just deal with it. And they are coming to work with cuts and bruises and, and bandages and scars and all types of things because of the struggle that they're facing. Mm.